మోసం చేసినట్టే అనిపించింది అసలు మందు కొట్టలేదంటే నా మినం ఖర్చు లేకుండా పడుతుంది అనుకుంటే మళ్ళా మందు కొట్ట మళ్ళీ యథావిధిగా మందు కొట్టాం వీటి పేరే కానీ యథావిధిగా మందు కొట్టుడు Farmers are accusing biotech companies of making false claims. Bull guard betting that guy, Malay hair fire rate that guy, cut lead. Bull. I would have ripped stone in shell. This is the same as my client. There are four guys. They are all right. Who ripped stone? Saw all this. Farmers are blaming genetically modified crops for reduction of yield of subsequent crops. ఇప్పుడు తిన్నా కానీ చనిపోలే మేడం అప్పుడు దాదాపు పది ఇరవై సంవత్సరాల నుంచి తిన్నా కానీ చనిపోలేదు ఇప్పుడు మాత్రం ఈ ఒక సంవత్సరం రెండు సంవత్సరాల నుంచి కొంచెం బాగా ఈ బీటి కాటన్ నుంచి ఎక్కువ ఇదైనట్టు కొడుతుంది Farmers hold genetically modified crops responsible for the death of their livestock खेत दे बेच जी मैं मूर्ति नरमा विजय सी या बीटी पंद्रह यार किले दा ठीक कर रहा सी ते चिट्टे चिच्चड़ा तो डर देने बात है बहुत ज़्यादे सी चिट्टे चिच्चड़ा मैं आखा दो किले एक कट ज़मीन है मेरे कोडे ते कितने जमे ही ना जवाब कानो गुड़चाव ही ना मेरे तां कर के दुखी हुए ने भाई लवी चाचा with the genetically modified crops as minor pests are turning into major ones restlessness is looming large over vast tracts of the countryside as gloom envelops the soul of Indian farmers. Yet another technology that promised to perform miracles for the farmer has miserably failed. The euphoria over genetically modified crops has given way to anger as stark realities are staring farmers in the face. Seed is at the heart of this new GM technology for agriculture. But that in itself is nothing new. Indian farmers have been improving their seeds through a well-evolved method of careful selection and breeding for thousands of years. What makes the genetically modified crop unique is that a gene from different species is inserted into the plant. It is a process that can never occur in nature by itself. This unnatural fusion has given rise to an equally unnatural social equation. Farmer, the producer of seed, has been reduced to farmer the consumer of seeds and corporations who have nothing to do with farming have emerged as the new owners of seed in times when farmers worst enemies are masquerading as their saviors they have no choice but to learn what genetic engineering is all about that is the only way to distinguish friends from foes genetic engineering essentially involves introduction of exotic traits from unrelated species into a crop plant or animal once the trait has been identified the gene is isolated and inserted into another crop or animal in a laboratory using a bacteria or a gene gun. These are then propagated in controlled conditions. BT cotton, the only genetically modified crop permitted in India, was also developed in a similar manner. A toxin-producing gene from a soil-borne bacterium called 
Bacillus thuringiensis Bt was introduced into the cotton plant which is then supposed to kill the American bollworm. A pest that cotton farmers dread a lot. Naturally, farmers who were going bankrupt spraying pesticides to fight the bollworm fell for this new bollworm resistant Bt cotton seed. It was like a dream come true. Since genetically modified seeds are being projected as the future of Indian agriculture, farmers switched over to Bt seeds. However, the euphoria over Bt cotton seeds did not last long. As in the case of pests developing immunity to pesticides over time, bollworms started developing resistance against the Bt gene. For farmers, it was back to square one. The Patsaburgo is the final stage. Patsaburgo is the final stage. Following the disastrous performance of BT cotton in Andhra Pradesh, farmers took to streets in large numbers. They forced the Andhra Pradesh government to ban three cotton varieties developed by Mahiko Monsanto. Under intense pressure from the agitating 